Let's start here. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap. Composing in Full Media, Part 2, Theme and Snippets, Part 3. In today's episode, we set out to continue adding cadences to our two themes, the, what we call the Raga theme and we call the Site theme. And they are in two different tonalities. We call it the, the light tonality, 3443R, and a dark tonality, 2552. Then we wanted to combine those tonalities with some chords that we discovered were common to both of them, and then flesh out what we call our shadow scale reference area. So we have completed four harmonies for every theme. Let's show you that. This is the Raga theme, and here are four variation harmonies. We think we like this one the best because it's kind of a three beat syncopated version. Then for the site theme, these are the four harmonic variations. We like that kind of off kilter. So we did that. And we called those snippets one and two, as it says up here, snippet one, snippet two. Then we did complete uh, doing some overlays and combinations of the two themes. And we did that at the start. These two chords we had identified from what we call our chord concordance the other day. This is our chord concordance. So we took all the chords from these two tonalities and listed them. And then we looked for over uh, chords that were common to both of them. And we found uh, this G11 and a G23. And this is G11 and G23. So we went ahead and put our themes together in a cycle. So the interesting thing about this to us is that the G11 chord has an A flat in it, which is the indicator there. The, the G23 chord has a C in it, which overlaps. And then we just jump to the, the next theme using a C chord, a C, and we stick with this chord here. And using these two chords just pleased us in that certain order. It kind of gave us a, a feel of moving from one to the other. So we did that. We also uh, did what we called some overlays, um, which reminded us of the illusion composition from our last stream. Um, here we put the, put the two themes together side by side. Now, so that has a pleasing, it's dissonant, and it's also rhythmic. And you can hear, feel 
there's a overlaid patterns on top of each other that are that the ear can still catch hold of and say oh I get it kind of like that and the final thing we spent a fair amount of time on was um, what we call our remember we're working with what we call shadow scales and a shadow scale is defined as taking two scales like the 3443R and the 2552 and putting them together and that is the shadow and then the notes that are shared which are these dark squares is the shadow common and the notes that are unshared which are the light gray is the shadow uncommon and these give us three more scales to compose with but in order to compose with them we have to have a, a reference area with which to work so we came up with one I think we closed it yeah let's find it for you it's a brand new one it's this one here so this is um, our bright scale and the bright scale is whatever's left over well we've only got one note and then this is our uh, light scale or no that is not right this is our shadow common and our shadow uncommon and our shadow full and then we went through and found chords for all of those things down here and let's play this for you bright common uncommon full and then uh, we got a few uh, these are the chords we just heard a minute ago to uh, blend our themes and these are chords that um, we had to invent a whole new tonality down here and we have to kind of sort that so uh, ideas for our next steps are we kind of need to sort the shadow uh, on common chords by function and begin using them yes so and then also that's that one also we can add harmony and overlay to the the remaining riffs on the themes that we looked at because each of those snippets like this one here forget all that way down here is a whole set of, um, of riffs that go together so that's the game plan and to kind of wrap it up for you what we will do is uh, what will we play for you let's do snippet 03 and we'll just play this part and wrap it up So thank you for your time and attention. As always, this concludes today's stream. Tune in next time and we will continue. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>